You look so cool. For six-year-old Barkley Jenkins and most anyone else, a day can't get much cooler than this. All right, gather around. Come on, gather around. expect all this? No, not at all. It's awesome. How's the day going for it? Oh, it's great. Oh, everybody's been sweet, just awesome. It's just, it's been an awesome day. Got a I packed house right now, don't we? We do. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. And if anyone deserves an awesome day, it's Barkley, a patient at Batson Children's Hospital, paralyzed below the waist in a January 2012 car accident, chosen to be a pilot for the day at Columbus Air Force Base. Right. Barkley's got a whole day of a uh, fun plan for him. He's going to get a fire truck ride. Uh, he's going to get a T-38 simulator. Uh, he's going to get to see uh, the T-38s out on the flight line. He's also going to get to see the, uh, the maintenance hangar where they do all the maintenance for him. It gives us the chance to give, a, um, to give back to a boy who has encountered difficulty in life uh, and, and to show him uh, through the trials and tribulations of what our pilots go through right here at Columbus that all things can be accomplished with courage and strength and, uh, and, and it gives us an opportunity too to be inspired by the courage and strength of Barkley in this case. It's a blessing to see them come through and to see the smiles on their faces and take care of them and just uh, make them happy and joyful. Yeah, it means a lot to them. Yes, sir. He's doing much better. We're in therapy twice a week and it's going much better. Our back brace is off now and everything's just looking up. He's getting better every day. And his personality is just the it's same. It's never he's changed. He's just as upbeat as he ever was. They've got him in a, a seat now that he can stand up for weight therapy and he's, he's loving that. Oh, he's doing real good. Uh, he has his good days and he has his bad days, but all in all, he really surprised me with his way it's going. Well, I've enjoyed being here with the family, watching him smile, watching Cheyenne smile, and have a good time. But I'm smiling and having a good time, too. You like it when they bring kids by to, to see oh, this? Oh, yeah, I love it. Uh, you know, I bring my own kids out here to see it, and I, I see the joy that they get from it. And these are the planes that the pilots train on? and Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, T1s, T38s, and T6s. The pilots start off on T6s, and then depending on what aircraft they're going to go to, a fighter or a cargo aircraft, if they go to fighters, and they fly the T38s, cargo with T1s. Our job here is to train uh, fighter bomber uh, students uh, as a part of their year-long specialized undergraduate pilot training uh, curriculum. So we have roughly about 68, 69 students at a, at, a, uh, at a given time, and we have about 75 instructor pilots of, uh, of all varieties, so active duty and, and reserves. And then they'll go on to... They'll go on and fly whatever aircraft they are assigned uh, uh, out of here. So this, they're not done with their training here. Even though they receive their wings, they will go on to their follow-on units for training to learn how to fly an F-16, F-15, B-52, B-1, uh, whatever, uh, whatever the needs of the Air Force are. Are, are your children future pilots in training too? Uh, the I <laughs> have a daughter and then a boy on the way. So. I, I told my wife jokingly that she gets to choose, but he's going to the Air Force Academy, so. Wow. All right. So uh, how did he do today? He did great. He did great. Future aviator. Doing well. <laughs> I, I would have to say he's doing pretty excellent overall. I've seen uh, students do much worse than he's doing right now, so this is... Uh, this is pretty enjoyable to watch right now, for sure. <laughs> Got a prodigy on your hand. <laughs> yes, sir, sure do. Uh, we're in Columbus Air Force Base RAPCON. It's radar approach control. Um, we service uh, the U.S. military and all uh, aircraft uh, through and from the surrounding areas. What does this uh, pilot for a day program mean to you? Oh, it means quite a bit. Um, typically, it's a, it's a day that we can honor uh, you know, uh, the children and, and um, actually we're blessed to be able to, to spend some time with them. Uh, this is actually a really big deal, as you saw with the sign that we have outside. Uh, right now, we have them uh, playing what we call the vector game, and it's something that we use to teach uh, air traffic controllers uh, to vector aircraft throughout the sky. And what we've built is a, is a maze, 
and there's an automated target um, that their job is to keep them within that maze without touching the lines. Depending on the traffic load, uh, we can have anywhere from 10 to 12 airplanes at one time. Uh, normally right now it's, it's good weather, so we're just controlling run, one runway. So uh, we're only talking maybe three or four planes at a time, so it's not a whole lot of workload right now. Is this uh, pilot for the for the day program fun for y'all? We love it. We love them. We love to get to come up and, and meet them all and kind of show them a little bit about what we do, and uh, we, we enjoy every minute of it. Inspire a lot of young kids. Yes, yes. Ever been in a fire truck this big? Yeah. Pretty cool, isn't it? It's always good to see kids enthused about it and uh, just have a good time learning about it. Helps them not be afraid as well if we come to help. Just like that. Oh, it's great. I mean, this is just one more way that our Air Force Base partners with the community and becomes a vital part of, of uh, the fabric of our community. The opportunity to see the children um, not thinking about their illness and smiling on their face, uh, it's very rewarding. The inspiration that he's provided us uh, in this visit is something that we will take uh, and treasure for a lifetime. Thank you so much, and this is from all of us to you. I hope you uh, can find a decent place to, to hang this picture too. What do you say? What do you say, everyone? No. Very well. Thank you. Hey. All right. To learn more about rehabilitation services at Batson Children's Hospital, go to childrenshospital.umc.edu. I'm Jim Albritton reporting.